as part of the data structures programming we'll see now the concept of linked list uh, what is actually the linked list why we need to go for linked list to store a list of elements over arrays and of course the programs and execution everything we'll see now hello everyone this is shravan kumar mantri welcome to our channel csc gurus so starting with linked list why why there why we need linked list for a better programming we have we are already with the concept of arrays where you can store the elements in an order like index based where index starts with zero you can store each and every element in a particular way so first of all i'll show that so we are already like this let us suppose if i take a list of elements i want to store it in an array how it can be stored means we'll have a an array like this where initially no elements are there where the list size is zero whenever you want to insert some elements you can insert like this yeah let us suppose i insert four elements so 5 4 6 8 these will be inserted now the size of the array which is the list will be four where index starts with zero up to three so the elements are inserted like this in general one element five next element four like this let us suppose now the array is like this now i want to insert an element in between somewhere let us see that example let us suppose i want to insert at a position 2 2 2 in the sense 2 index 2 what is the element you have 6 you have in place that means i am not replacing here i want to insert 7 here that means that element 6 should go at index 3 element 8 should go index 4 so that is what you can see here this is what happens after that insertion so like this i'm not replacing this element 6 with 7 i'm just inserting that 7 means the element has to go like this so now i can find some disadvantage here like whenever i want to insert an element at somewhere here let us suppose somewhere here so whatever the remaining elements let us suppose here two elements has to be shifted to the right each and every element now let us suppose there are thousand elements after this insertion there are thousand elements means those thousand elements has to be shifted to the right one time every element now if i get the complexity of this program if i want to have a insertion in an ar an element in the array if you want to insert somewhere that means in the worst case i need to check for uh, all the remaining elements has to be shifted to the right so that is what we can have let us suppose I want to insert at the first position. Assume that there are thousand elements. That means there are thousand shifts you need to make. For example, five should be shifted here. So four should be shifted here. Six should be shifted here. Eight should be like this. If there are thousand elements, in the worst case, you have to shift all the thousand elements. If I go with the complexity, we have the complexity as n. Means if you have n elements there, you need to have n shifts to be done. Of course, that is the first disadvantage i can say when you have an insertion the complexity is big of n can i get the complexity as one big of one in the insertion yes we'll get it we'll get it i'll tell you the answer what is the answer now the second one when i want to delete an element let us suppose i am erasing index one what is the element index at one four if i erase this means what that seven should come here six should come here that means each element after this element which is erased has to be shifted to the left by one time so again if you consider the uh, anyway the output is like this again if you consider if i want to delete the element at index zero then all the remaining elements if you have thousand elements all the thousand elements has to be shifted to the left one time so again if i ask you what is the complexity of deleting an element in an array means in the worst case it is big o of n again i'm checking for these can you get the answer in big o of one even in some cases can you get the answer yes the alternative is we can go for the linker list concept where you can have insertions and deletions most of the time of course uh, we forgot the special case most of the time the complexity which will be only one and also we'll see when you want to insert an element in index i mean first position when you want to insert at the last position so the complexity which we are reducing it to one so that is what the main advantage here we can get it when you want to insert and when you want to delete so that's why we are going for the concept of linked list here so 
now the answer we got it is mainly we used for linked list how it can be done and all and also we'll see and before that we have to know how the linked list implementation can be done but before that i'll tell you what happens i told you like the implementation which takes only the complexity one when you go for some insertion or deletion so let us see this example a uh, linked implementation list initially null so whereas if i want to insert 0 comma 8 means 0 is the first i want to insert an element 8 so the linked representation will be like this whenever you take a node in the linked list linked list consists not only data part which you will find another part which is called as address part where this can store the address of the next node okay clearly i'll explain anyway but this is a example just you need to see how the insertions can be done now the list has only element 8 now if i take another element 5 you can see 5 is inserted at the second position see 0 means the first position 1 means the second position right so this is a zeroth position anyway we are not storing the index we are going with the address i'll tell you what is that address everything now if i want to insert one more element 1 comma 9 means see the element 8 is inserted next 5 is inserted the elements are in the sequence of 8 comma 5 now now i want to insert 9 means the element should be in the order of 8 9 5 i right? because 9 should be at the index i mean it's a second position now if i want to insert this element you can see the arrangement you can have so 9 should be taken first and you can have like this arrangement but when you consider this one when you want to insert first what we'll do here is when you want to insert 9 this address this location i'll connect to this and this address i'll connect to this that's it the insertion will be over whatever the remaining elements here remaining nodes even it is 1000 or 10000 we are not touching that is the main thing you have, you have to observe here in the concept of linked list when you want to insert an element where this 9 when you want to insert this address whatever the address here you will have so that address will be connected to here and here will connect so that 895 where the remaining elements are untouched so the final answer will become like this even when you want to erase also the same thing you can see when you want to erase i'll show in another slide of course insert 3 comma 6 means anyway you are inserting this is let us suppose first element second element third element now at the fourth element index 3 like this so here if you want to insert you can insert at the end directly okay you have to go to the last and you can insert that's not a big problem now coming to the erase part let us suppose i want to erase 2 which is the element 5 this is so this is if i say 0 1 2 like this i want to erase this one simply i'll connect this address to here so that my answer is over so where i don't want to touch the remaining elements whatever are there that's why the complexity again when you want to delete the complexity is one here especially uh, take, taking the elements to change so like this you can directly connect and where you need to get the answer directly so that the complexity will become one so like this the connection will be established finally 896 you will have where 5 is deleted so this is what happens mainly if you consider the concept of linked list not only this uh, of course if you go for single linked list you have double linked list like this where there are uh, n of what you called as applications nf applications we have if you consider for the concepts of non linear data structures especially if you go for binary trees and binary set trees the writing of the code will become very easy if you consider the concept of linked list so how it is easy all those things i'll cover in the entire set of videos so now we are going for this one linked list how we have array over linked list the basic example you can take is insertion and deletion operations in the linked list are less complex compared to the uh, arrays so that's why we are going for the concept of linked list but there are many differences like while when you go for arrays concept to insert some elements or when you want to arrange some elements when you maintain and also with the linked list there is a clear difference we'll see all those things also 
yeah here the definition comes what is linked list of course it is a linear data structure of course anyway i told you like data structures are divided into two types linear data structures and non linear data structures it's a linear one linear data structures in which the elements of linked lists are stored in a continuous memory of course it's a continuous memory locations logically but may no may or may not be physical this is a term which you need to remember clearly i'll explain with an example why i said like it is oh, continuous memory locations logically but not physically what is this term if you consider with arrays of course logically or physically they are continuous but not in the linked list i'll explain this one clearly but anyway what we are covering in this one so we are going for creating a node insert a node okay creating a node in the linked list inserting a node at the beginning at the end of course given at a particular position how to insert delete same thing like in the beginning at end and at a position and how what are the elements at a particular instance that is a displaying the elements in the linked list in a sequence now count how many ele elements are there in the linked list at a particular instance and finally set for example you want to set an element in the linked list how to get the answer so everything i'll write the code i'll explain i'll write the code slowly step by step of course if you want you also get ready with the compiler and try to write the code and you can execute everything here of course i'm going for little bit theory part anyway once it is done i'll start the execution part yeah once again there is a definition there is a of course when you consider the node node in in an array we have elements which are index based but here each value can be stored as a node where node in turn consists two parts which is a data part another one is a address part like this here the data part the value here i represented with a a is nothing but some data and pointer which is a points to the next node okay points to the next node here you can see the example where well, let us suppose i want to store three elements 10 20 50 50 let us suppose if you want to store in this 10 20 50 in an array might be you may take like this you might go for 10 20 30 30 where you need an array where like this you will write where the index starts from 0 like this you may store if i ask what is a of 0 you will get the value 10 what is a of 1 you will get the value 20 like this and of course these memories are very sequential for example this memory is starts with 1000 this is of course each integer 4 bytes this is 1004 this is 1008 this is with respect to arrays concept this is all we know now coming to this linked list concept okay we have a very important part which is called as head node we have a very important part which is head node what is this head node means that is the starting point of the linked list that means whatever the head node consists some address let us suppose i told you like node means it is a one node where the element is 10 and the address of this node is something like 1000 this might be something like 1500 this might be something like 1200 like this the addresses will be there let us suppose if you created a node node consists one thing is data part another is the address of the next node so initially what is a head value let us suppose head value is 1000 means the first node in the linked list is this one which the value is 10 if the head node value is 1500 means the first node is 5, the value is 20 So now anyway it is connected to 10 which is address is 1000 I have to write like this so that my head node means the first node is with the address 1000 so like this now what is the next node for this so which is address 1500 so that will be stored here so when i store 1500 means yes the value 20 is the next one now if i store 1200 here instead of 1500 means the next value is 50 that is where the connection goes like this but here it is connected to the next value that is 50 1500 is address and the value is 20 now the next node which is the node with the address 1200 you can see the value has to be written now you can see when this is a clear picture of one basic linked list which we have and here you can observe this is a head node where the node value which whatever the address you have to store here which is the address of the first node of the linked list and for any node where the value that next address is null 
here you can see that means this that node will be the last node of the linked list that will be the last node of the linked list now again i am coming to this one where i told you like so the elements in the linked list are stored in a continuous memory allocations you can see logically but not physically why not physically means if you consider in an array physically thousand thousand four thousand eight i can say physically the memories are sequential that is that is thousand thousand four thousand eight like this they are sequential you can see sequentially after four bytes it is taken whereas in linked list there might not be you can see thousand here i have taken might be some other address here might be some other address here so that's why definitely they, those are physically those memories are may not be physically sequential but logically they are sequential why logically means now with this arrangement i can say that 10 followed by 20 followed by 50 why because what is the next address stored in the 10 value is 1500 which is the address of the next node what is the next address is stored for the value 20 is 1200 which is the next i can directly say yes the values from 10 if I ask you what is the next node means yes I can answer with the value 20 why because these are connected logically with the addresses so this is what connected logically with respect to address for example if you simply check it out in the exam hall you might in the exam hall I think you can sit according to your rule number that means you are sequential with respect to your rule number which is the concept of arrays directly but might be in the classrooms in the classrooms you might not sit according to the rule number but even you are not sit according to the rule number you are sequential might be one rule number 16 one rule number 25 one rule number 30 you might sit side by side okay rule number wise you are not sequential but if i see you people these three people are sitting in a row so that's why i can say these people are in a one sequence if i ask you who is the next to the boy who sit in after 16 yes you can say 25 okay who is that next sit to the 25 the girl which is 30 like this you can answer with respect to the uh, address we call it as so this is what something the unique arrangement of link list will happen so that's why here we can say it's a continue it's are stored in a continuous memory allocations logically not physically so that's why we call it as logically the linked list nodes are sequential.